T.J. Dillashaw. This fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. And he landed the right hand there. These guys throwing early. And that left hook landed on the button. Oh, you gotta love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was gonna take it to this guy. That is exactly what he's doing as we start this fight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick land by the jump. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! So just over 20 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose L. Effective punch there by Aldo. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feel of that. That's one that's really knocking the head down. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Catch that kick. Here comes the high kick. And then you're in a lot of trouble. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. And, oh, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Burns over the tops of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, straight right. Nice one, two there. 30 seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, good pace to this one. Round two is here already. The King of Rio, Jose Alba, and TJ Dillish. Continues to do it. Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, big left hook there. Back and forth we go. So 42 total strikes have landed for Jose Alves. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against TJ Dillashaw. That's hard to do. Dillashaw gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it, it's poured blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Well, 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big power shot there. Dillashaw's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of sweat. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's a oh, he's inside. He's right now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Much what a fight so far! Oh, the round is over, and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Shot a really good flow here, DC. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so they can land that beautiful left hand. 70 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose L. Connection rate starting to dip a little bit here, DC, landing with 32% accuracy now against TJ Dillashaw. Circling to his right. Good head movement there. Nice slip. Straight right. He misses. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Good jab. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. He blocks the punch. Straight right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big kick. Lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore because the board starts to split and the blood starts to go. Oh, oh, right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly and it hurt his opponent very bad. Good right here. Flips to avoid the right. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his... Oh, he didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh, 
straight right. What a round. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights, man. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. Are you ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Punches blocked. Got DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, and now he's to head back. The referee has seen enough. Burst by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 55 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, TKO. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.